Hello everybody, Brad Arrington here. I want to talk to you guys today about uh, propeller reports. Uh, this came up recently with uh, dis some discussions I had with uh, somebody else and how to interpret their uh, prop scan report. So I thought it might be useful to talk about it a little bit here. Um, so for, for Back Cove boats, uh, if you get a new boat from Back Cove, or hopefully uh, the owner will send it along, um, Backhoe for a while has been using um, Accutech Marine Propeller um, to, to source and tune their, their props. Um, so uh, when you get a new boat, you'll get this uh, a, a packet like this with information about your prop, which can be very useful. So when you open your packet, what you'll see is um, uh, a cover letter from Accutech that'll tell you about your prop. Um, a little bit about, you know, kind of the importance of props and taking care of it. And it'll have uh, uh, your boat hull number on here. And then the next page will get into a report about your prop from Accutech. Now this cover page uh, may be different if you get your prop tuned by someone else. Uh, but from the factory, um, you should expect a report like this. And what this is gonna have on here is, you know, the name of the boat, uh, when it was uh, tuned, uh, the serial number of the prop itself, the, the vessel number. Um, it'll have your initial inspection of your prop. So in my case, it's a, uh, from my Back Cove 37, it's a 28 inch uh, prop, four blade. They didn't put the pitch in here, which they, they probably should have. Uh, the bore, in my case, two and a quarter inches, and the uh, accuracy to which the prop will have been tuned. Uh, if it's right hand or left hand, very important. Uh, the material, so it's, it's nibral. Um, if it was new, uh, the comments, so this is a ZF prop. Um, the serial number is here. It'll give you the weight, so this Nibro prop is 75 pounds. Uh, here we go, measure. This is <clears throat> what they actually measured during this, re uh, this report. So the pitch is 30.957 <clears throat> average, and the target or design pitch was 31. So it's very, very close. Um, and uh, there, this particular prop has cupping in it. So that gives it a little more cup shape. I see with my hand there. So um, this is a number five cup all the way along uh, the radius. It's confirmed that the ISO certification is uh, class one high accuracy. And what they did on this prop was uh, they balanced it, they added some cup and they cleaned and polished it. And then there's the, uh, uh, the QA check. <clears throat> So let's look at the actual certificate report here. And this, uh, the rest of the pages uh, should be pretty standard because um, uh, th this is a hail MRI uh, prop scan analysis and certificate. So if you get your prop tuned later on, uh, you should uh, probably expect a very similar report. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what this means. <clears throat> So there are four blades, one, two, three, four. And what they're doing is, if you look across here, 0 0.5, 6, 7, 8, 9, these are the distances along the blade where measurements have been taken. So 0.5 or 50% out from, uh, from the center of the blade, 60, 70, 80, 90%. And they make these checks to uh, validate the consistency of the blade measurements along the entire prop. So we can see here uh, uh, detailed information about the prop and then um, some, uh, some graphical specifications about the prop itself. Uh, and then we can see down here uh, we have um, uh, the different information uh, about the blade here and the, the, the accuracy was uh, to a, a scan type 1 which we already saw before. Um, so this isn't the most uh, uh, interesting information of this report. 
where we're getting into now is really where um, it's more interesting, particularly if you get your uh, prop tuned up because it'll have a before and an after report. <clears throat> So what we're seeing here now is, uh, again, information about the boat, the prop, uh, what the diameter is, what the mean pitch is, so 30.9 out of a design pitch of 31. And we can take a look here at these graphs. This is where things get really interesting and maybe need a little bit of uh, interpretation here. So um, each one of these bars, uh, these colors, green, blue, magenta and purple uh, represent one blade on the prop. And these numbers here, 0 0.56789, uh, these are where the prop was measured uh, for this particular uh, measurement and, and check. So we, what we have here is uh, green is blade one at 0.5 from the center uh, measured 30.956 pitch. Uh, and you can see that's repeated down here. Now these are very, uh, these are almost exactly on. Uh, you can see as at 0.6, they're uh, a little bit different. <clears throat> um, that 31, so it's a little bit over that, uh, that 31 target. Uh, and there's uh, some differences here. Um, between the, uh, the the different blades. And you can see all the way out at 0.8, they're exactly on. And then again, on the bottom here is showing you the design pitch here. Um, and then these bars here, what, what are these black bars doing? So these bars here, you can see here, um, uh, this box, there's uh, a, an upper, dotted line and a lower dotted line and then a solid line in the middle. So these represent the accuracy tolerances for the scan, for this type uh, class one ISO scan. So in this case, the black is the ideal measurement, uh, the, the solid line, and then the upper uh, and the lower are the bounds by which um, as long as the prop is in within those boxes, um, it's considered accurate enough for that scan. If we were to go to um, a higher accuracy scan, th those boxes would be smaller uh, for a tighter tolerance. So what we can see in, in here is that um, they're very accurate. Uh, the, the blades are, are identical here. A few variations here, but it's very small and definitely within uh, the tolerances um, of this scan. So we know that, that, um, that, that this is a, a well-tuned prop. Now, when you get a, a prop tuned, th this, uh, this should say uh, you should have a before scan and then an after scan, and you can compare it. And when you do um, that information, you, know, you can look up here and see that you have your design mean, so your, your average pitch, and then the measured uh, pitch, 30.957 uh, on average, and your deviation is only 0.14%, so that, that's very accurate. And you can see in here, these numbers here represent for each blade, A, B, C, and D. Um, these are if, uh, if each blade is within the tolerance spec. So if it was within these bars here, and we can see 100% that it is. Um, if they're really out, like uh, the, the, this one um, uh, report I, I looked at not long ago, um, these were out quite a bit and I actually had one called a disaster because it was so far out of spec, it could really cause problems for the boat. Okay, so let's take a look at, at um, the next page. Um, so the, the, this page here, the, this is really kind of your, your quick glance of where things sit. And then you can look at more detail um, on, uh, on these other pages. So this is at radius 0.5. This is the blade angle. This is the average pitch, your design pitch, and then your, your class one uh, scan and tune. And you can see it's giving you the pitch for each of the four blades here. Um, 
and it uh, it's telling you kind of where that sits within the scan. So you can see that green, blue, red, and magenta ties back to the green, blue, red, and magenta. So they color code uh, the, the different blades for, for easy reference. So um, next, uh, the next page, this is gonna be at radius 0.6. Uh, same information, the ang blade angle is 66. Uh, and you can see um, the, the measurements uh, here, that, and, and this is the, the final report. Again, uh, radius 0.7, angle is 62. Pitch, uh, pitch is average 30.925 out of design pitch of, of 31. 0.8, uh, same kind of thing. And then uh, 0.9 here uh, for, for the final scan. Um, so that's, uh, that, that's how you read one of these um, pitch reports. Now, AccuTech also sends you some other information about uh, your prop. Uh, you know, it's, it's a precision piece of, of equipment. Make sure you take care of it. Uh, some advertising for AccuTech and what they do. Um, if you want to do a, uh, a trial, they give you this, this worksheet for seeing um, at different uh, RPMs, what your load percentage is, what your speed is. So if, if you need to balance out uh, your prop, um, you can do that. Um, okay, so that, that's how you read a, uh, a, um, a prop report. Um, hopefully, uh, if you uh, get one of these after you tune up your prop, that'll help you interpret the results. And uh, safe loading to all.